The last company is called Varden Labs, and they're working out of the Velocity Residence or their mom's basement in Calgary for the summer. Varden Labs is developing autonomous shuttles that can provide effortless transportation for private communities and campuses. Made up of two mechatronics engineering students, Alex is going to be pitching today. Let's give him a huge round of applause. This is the transportation spectrum as it exists today. On the one hand, we have walking, which is effective for short distances. On the other hand, we have cars, which are good for long distances, but they have a very high barrier to entry. Many organizations have realized that this is simply too inconvenient for people to take short trips around their campus. From retirement communities to big companies, these people are forced to hire drivers and set up a shuttle service if they want simple, effective transportation. Unfortunately, at a cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, shuttle services are far from a cheap solution. But they need a better transportation system, so what choice do they have? That's where we come in. At Varden Labs, we're developing a fully self-driving shuttle. This shuttle means that it's able to get from point A to point B without the need for an expensive human driver. It's also really easy to use. You summon it on your smartphone, it comes, picks you up, and takes you where you need to go. This is a video of our prototype. This is the first human-scale autonomous vehicle in Canada. It's able to follow a fixed route all on its own, and when faced with real-world obstacles, it handles them gracefully, stops for pedestrians, waits for them to clear, and then continues on its way. There are a lot of people who are desperate to get their hands on this technology. Every year in North America, people buy over 32,000 shuttle buses, which represents over a billion dollars. And our market's even bigger than that, because there are a lot of people who would be excited about the lower cost use of autonomous shuttles, who could never afford the manned alternative. There are a number of European companies who are also excited about this technology. Perhaps the most advanced is a British company named Navia. Navia has received $19 million in funding from the British government, and in their recent debut video, they showed off almost exactly the same capabilities I showed you on the last slide. Not only do we have amazing cutting-edge technology, but we also have a winning strategy. Navia and the others are developing their own shuttles, which splits their focus between two hard problems. On the other hand, we're retrofitting existing shuttles, which allows us to focus on our core competency, autonomous technology. This also gives us a really fast path to market. You see, the shuttle on this slide has the same chassis as our prototype. We literally take the systems developed for our prototype, put it on this chassis, and we immediately have a product that can be sold. That's really exciting. We have some great traction. As I already told you, our technology is world class, and people are starting to notice. Last week, we did a demo at Glenifer Lake, a private resort community which relies almost entirely on low-speed vehicles, the perfect candidate for an autonomous shuttle service. We've also been featured on CTV and interviewed by McLean's. Our team has a ton of experience. Between Mike and myself, we spent over a decade building robotic systems, which is how we're able to execute so effectively on this technology. We're also joined by some awesome advisors who support us in everything from robotics to PR to machining. People need a better transportation solution, and that's what we're here to provide. We are Varden Labs, and we are bringing the transportation of the future to today. Thank you.